Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I want to work on, well, one of them. I've got a couple I'm going to be doing here. But my first one here, um, decoration that I want to make for after Christmas. Because you guys know we decorate for crazy, craft like crazy for Christmas, and then after Christmas we put it all away, and it is just blah for the rest of the winter. So, we're going to make some pretty winter um, decorations. And I got this little sleigh here at Hobby Lobby, and it was $3.99, and they were 50% off then. And if you want to check, like, right after Christmas, they'll probably be even cheaper than that. Um, best time to get this kind of thing. And then I'm just going to use up some um, odds and ends. This I cut off. I know I'm all over the place here today. It's cookie-making day, so I was making cookies most of the day. Um, trying to get ready for Christmas here. But I wanted to get one of these videos up for you guys. So this is actually pine. This is what's left of my Dollar Tree Christmas tree. I've cut every single thing off of it now. I got a lot of use out of this thing. So I cut all the branches, the rest of the branches off of that. And I have those right here. And when you get up towards the top of the tree, they're, you know, little. So we have a bunch of different sizes for that. And then I can just get rid of that other piece. And then I'm going to use some of the eucalyptus, the white. I think that's really pretty and some of these pine cones. This actually came off. It was on one of these picks and I just cut it off and it has a nice wire in it which is good. A piece of scrap foam that I had left over for something from something rather and some of these you know ferns and things that they had at the Dollar Tree. I have one right here and these are really pretty. So we're going to do everything just kind of in green and white and with our pine cones. No Christmas colors here. Now for my sleigh, I want to paint this whole thing white. I'm going to have to go over to a little sandpaper a little bit more, I think. Um, I did get some of it, but I think I missed that side. But anyway, I'm going to take some of the cottage white chalk paint. You can use any chalk or any paint you want. You could use acrylic, but you may need to put on extra coats with acrylic. I just like the chalk paint because, you know, it just covers really well. And I'm going to have to get, open up a new one of these. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to paint everything on here white, and then we're going to come back and do some more decorating here on this. I think I want to use like a snowy kind of glitter um, just on the rails on the bottom, and maybe, I don't know, a few dots of things here and there. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just going to paint the entire thing white, because you don't want this thing to come out looking too Christmassy or anything, and we want to just leave this out, you know, just to pretty things up for the winter. But see, this stuff just covers so well. That's why I love it. But before I do any more of this um, towards the other side there, i got to sand that off. I'm going to have to let this dry now and sand that off. But that is it. The whole thing, everything, rails underneath. i got to get that tag off of there yet. But I'm just going to go around and paint this whole thing with two coats of the white chalk paint. And then after that dries, we're going to come back and finish decorating it up. All right, this is nice and dry now. <clears throat> I really like it just all white. Now, you can paint these any color you want. You could stain them if you wanted to. Um, I just wanted to do something just in a white. So now for the other edges of it here, is this is what I did. I figured I'd get one side done here so it could dry. I did all the runners in just the glitter, and then I did the little dots just around the edge. And that's all I'm going to do to this besides, you know, fill it up with a bunch of really good, pretty goodies. That's what I'm trying to say. But I use this extra fine glitter. This I got at Michael's. They had these, like, you know, where you go to check out. They usually have those bins there, stuff of, you know, dollar items. This was, I don't remember how much these were. These might have been $2. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I got these last year. But this is like a real pretty white, glittery glitter. Which I said I was over glitter this year, but we're going to do this one. So anyway, for around the edge of this thing, all I did was I take this little embossing tool... Um, embossing tool rather that I get at uh, Dollar Tree and this is like one of my favorite tools I don't usually use it for like embossing paper or anything like it's intended but I do use it to make dots so we're gonna put dots all the way around the edges of this I'm not gonna do the whole thing here on camera because it'll take me a little bit but um, that's it I'm just taking the fat end there's like a big end and then a smaller end I'm taking the bigger end and I'm just making dots to go all the way around my sleigh. I want another one in there. There we go. And um, 
that's it. That's all I'm going to do to do this part. Just going to put our dots on there. I think I just made that one go straight across. And I kind of angled them a little. And you don't have to be perfect about it. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to go all the way around this whole edge and just dot it and sprinkle on some glitter. It's just that simple. And I like this. It's got a nice big opening on here so I can pour my glitter back in when I'm done. So that's it. I just dump a whole bunch of it on there, tap it off, and that's it. And I love this stuff. It's really pretty. So you always want to do it over a piece of paper or something. I usually just use a piece of cardstock and um, that works just fine to go right back in the bottle. And then for the runners, all I did was I took a paintbrush. Let me see if I can find a smaller paintbrush here. Um, of course I can't. I need to wash paint brushes. I have so many brushes and I don't seem to have any brush that I'm looking for. Uh, let's see. Well, it really, really doesn't matter. Any kind of brush will do. But I like my flat brushes. So for this, all I did was just take a bunch of the Mod Podge, and you can get this. This is the glossy Mod Podge. It doesn't really matter, I don't think, which one you use. Um, I get these at Dollar Tree, although I haven't seen these in a while. But um, And I just went around the front and the back of these runners. And this is real easy to do, too. Bring it up a little bit there. This is a very, very simple, easy DIY. This is one of my favorite kinds of DIYs. It's super easy. All right, and that is all you do for that. And then on goes the glitter. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? I just love this stuff. And I did the inside too, so I'm going to go ahead and do the inside here too real quick. And then I'll go ahead and put on the rest of my um, dots. But I thought it would look nice if the inside of these were done. Now this thing, I only gave it one coat. Oops, I had glitter filled in there. I only gave it one coat on the inside of white paint because you're not going to see it once you put in all your little decorations and things. You really don't have to paint it at all if you don't want to. Yeah, thought I was up for a nice, easy project this week. So I like doing something, but you know, it's getting close to Christmas here now, and well, I really am about glittered out, but and there you go, and then that's the inside of them. And now if you want with this stuff, all I usually do, you can spray this or you could put a coat of Mod Podge over it if you wanted to, if you're worried about your glitter coming off. But what I do, I just take like a really cheap hairspray and I just spray this with, with that and it's fine. It holds it pretty good. I mean, you always have a little bit of shed with glitter, but um, a lot of glue in there. There we go. Um, but yeah, nice, nice cheap bottle of hairspray will do you good with glitter. So I'm just going to go around here and finish putting on my little dots and then we can come back and fill it up with our goodies. All right, everything's nice and dry. I um, took a paintbrush and I brushed off all the um, excess glitter that was on here. So I think I've pretty much got all the stuff that's going to fall off off. Um, I don't remember if I showed you guys the size and stuff. This is 7.7 .7 by 4 5 by 3 inch sleigh, um, just in case you want to know what size this one was. It's not a real big one. It's not as big as like the one I did from Dollar General. All right, I'm just going to take my little scrap piece of floral foam here, and I'm going to glue that down on the bottom. A little hot glue. And there we go. And this is the fun part and the easy part. So I'm going to take my taller pieces that I have here, or longer pieces, whatever you want to call them, um, and put those towards the back of the sleigh. And I don't know, these are probably about three inches. So we're just going to stick these back up in here. Just 
just going to line up that way. like that and then I want my shorter ones to stick out here of course so we're just going to stick them in there I just have to go run all around the edge first to get them filled in I'll take some of my taller ones here. You know what? Let me move this one. Oops. That one there. Let's see. I have another real tall one here that I can put on this side. Come on now. Bend the way I want you to go. There we go. And then on the inside, I just kind of like to crisscross these, and that actually fills up a lot of space. Like, cross that one over there, and then if you take um, the longer one here, I kind of put this one across this way, and then that fills right in your, your centerpiece without having to use a ton of these. But let me see, i got some of my littler ones here. I do want some of these on the edges. Crisscross in here. Like so. And we're going to put this one like on the other side coming out this way. And that'll fill that all right in. And I want to leave room down in here because I'm going to put my um, pine cones and things in here. Couple more of these little ones up here. And let's see, that's just about it. Doesn't really take a lot. Like I said, if you crisscross them from one side to the other, um, it really fills up the space really easy. You don't need a ton of this stuff. Alright, that's a little tall. I'm going to bring him down a little bit. Now, we got those out of the way here, so now I'm going to take some of these little pieces of the ferns and things that I cut off. I'm going to have these sticking out. I'm just going to hot glue these right on here. Nothing fancy. Just have that one sticking out here. And I have these taller ones. I might actually stick these up in the back here. These are actually the tips off of these ferns. Where are they? Um, some of them have these nice long leaves like this, but then the tips have these nice tall, uh, snowy covered look to them. Let's stick this one over on this side. Whoops. There we go. And let's see. I think I want one of those big, big fern pieces here. Um, ugh. Hang on. I'm trying to pull it off the stem. There we go. I want another one down here in the front, so I'm just cutting a piece of that off. Just like that. I want this one to go down maybe a little bit smaller. Alright, let me glue him in. So that piece out there, I think that's pretty. And then I want a couple of these little <coughs> eucalyptuses, eucalyptuses, whatever, uh, <laughs> pieces just to stick out here and there. Put one up there, and one on the other side. Now, I'm going to put my pine cones in just so I can see where else I want to 
fill in anything. I want to use both of these big pine cones. Um, I wasn't sure what I was going to use these big guys for, but I think this is going to work out good. So I'm going to put this one in here first, I think. I kind of want it to tilt, which I should have bent it first, I guess. There we go. That way. And then I want this one to stick right down in here this way. Just like that. And you can paint these, put a little bit of white on these. I may, I don't know, I kind of just want it to be wintry, not too Christmassy looking. So that's why I'm not trying to add a whole bunch of detail to this. And I think that's going to look really pretty on the white here. I mean, you could put berries in there or something if you want. I actually have some, no, that's going to make it look Christmassy too. I just don't want the Christmas feel to this. I want the after Christmas feel to this. I might stick another one of these down in here. Yeah, I think I will. Stick that one right down in here between the pine cones. And oh, good, I have another one right here. I can put it on the other side. And here comes another snow plow. <laughs> we had about uh, between nine and ten inches of snow overnight, which is a lot of work the next day, but. I think that is it. I think that is pretty much all I'm going to do to this. I don't know if I want to stick a couple more of these little pieces in there. Let me see. No, I think that's going to be too much. Maybe down... No, that's going to be too much. I don't like it. All right. So maybe I'll just take a couple of these little pieces here that I have left over and just glue them on here. That guy right underneath the pine cone. No, I'll use my little screwdriver for now. Get in there. There we go. I'm gonna go underneath there. Let's yeah, stick this little piece on there too. Coming out of there. Alright, I think I am pretty much done here. I just need one more of these little pieces over here. So it matches the other side. Let's tuck that right out of this pine cone here. And I think that is it. That is all I am going to do with this. Unless I decide I want another something flashy back there. Maybe another piece of fern up on the top there. Let me find a top piece. Let's see how it's going to look before I commit. Yeah, you know what? I like that back there. So we'll just stick that right under the pine cone. All right. So I'm going to clean this mess up here and get a nice picture of this. Um, actually, what I'm going to add to this is this reindeer that came from Dollar Tree. It was a reindeer ornament. And it had this on it. I'm just going to take that off. And I think this will look cute just sitting in front of this sleigh. Because um, they do stand up pretty decently. So let me clean this mess up. And I am going to take a nice picture of this all done. And then I will see you guys all next time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a great day.